Hi everyone, welcome back. So today I am doing a one brand tutorial. Now I have done these before where I use all one brand, all the products from one brand to create a full face look. So today I'm doing it from Tarte because Tarte came out with several new products that I wanted to demo and try out. I had a lot of people asking about them. So I'm using their new cheek stains that have corresponding colors to their blushes, their popular blushes. Their Color Clay CC primers and, and their new Power Pigment Lip Surgeons pencil. So I am doing a day look and I am doing this with a great friend of mine, Tawny. She has an amazing blog, GlamorouslyMommy.com. I will leave the link below so you guys can check it out. She is such an awesome girl. She's one of those girls that you just want to kick back and talk to. She's hilarious and just really personable. You can get that even through her blog, but she also does have a YouTube channel. Her and I are both creating a look using this Amazon Escape palette from Tarte. Now this is an awesome palette. It has black blushes and neutral eyeshadow. And stay tuned to the end of the video because there might be a giveaway happening at the end of this video. Now she's creating a more smoky, deep night look and I am creating a day so look. So if you're interested in seeing a full face using all Tarte products and this palette, then go ahead and keep watching. So a lot of people love these one brand tutorials, so that's why I chose to do Tarte. Now, Tarte came out with a bunch of new spring products, so that's why I thought it'd be fun to do a full face so that you could see some of their products and then like I said there is a giveaway in this video so, so I'm gonna start out with Tarte's new color clay correcting primer or CC primer now this comes in several different shades light medium dark tan um, it deep. is has these quadrants now these are color clay quadrants. This helps to reduce redness. Now it's, it's like a multitasking product. It's supposed to prime your skin. It's supposed to even your skin tone. Now you can use this before you apply your foundation or you can use it as your foundation if you'd like a little lighter coverage look. Now I have the color light so I'm just going to go ahead. You can apply this directly to your skin or you can, you know, rub it on your hand. I like to apply it directly to the skin just because I think that that gets all the quadrants. So I'm just going to apply it all around my skin just like this. And I'm going to go ahead and buff it in. I'm going to use my fingers. Now make sure you have clean hands. This is a talc-free formula. It feels really silky and nice on the face. Um, you can use a brush if you'd like or a sponge, beauty blender sponge, but I'm just gonna use this. I do find that this provides a little bit of coverage, but not enough of what I'm looking for, so I prefer to use it just as a primer under my makeup to even out my skin tone. So, and it blends in really, really nicely and smoothly. It feels really nice. Um, on your skin. One of my favorite, my personal favorite foundations. This is Tarte's Maracuja Miracle Foundation. I do have a full foundation routine if you're interested in seeing more. I'm probably going to fast forward through this because I have done full information on this. It is being, I think, discontinued on Tarte's website so you can get it for $21 I believe. So check the sale there. I have the color Fair and I did have the color light and that is too dark for me. So the color fair seems to be better. And I'm just applying this with a Real Techniques um, Flawless Face Sponge. I love this foundation. It's 12 hour wear and um, it gives pretty great coverage. And still, it's great if you have drier skin. I really like this in the winter time. It gives a little bit more of a dewy finish. So if you have oily skin, I don't think I would recommend this foundation. I do not have a concealer from Tarte. That's the only thing that I do not have. So I'm going to go ahead in with my NARS Creamy Concealer. And this is in vanilla. Now I've heard a lot of great things about some of the Tarte concealers. One of my friends swears by their concealer sticks. So I just haven't tried it. So I'm just going to go on with this right under my eyes. For the record, I don't love this NARS Creamy Concealer. I keep trying to give it the benefit of the doubt, but it really creases on me, so... Um, yeah, it's definitely not one of my favorites. Like, it really creases bad on my eyes. 
Before I move on to the eyes, I wanted to finish up my face because before my foundation really had a chance to set, I didn't want to mess it by applying a cheek stain. Now, Tarte has had these cheek stains for a while. They recently just changed the packaging and came out with colors that correspond to some of their most popular blushes. I chose the color Exposed because that's one of my favorite blushes and it's also included in the palette that I'm using on my eyes today. Now, these smell like a sweet, almost like a very sweet citrus scent. I love the scent of them and they're just like a, a really nice stain product. So you can either rub it right onto your face like that, you can use your finger to apply it, which is my favorite way, but they blend out so beautifully and then they leave a little stain behind. This is the perfect way in the spring or in the summer to get a really natural look. If you'd like to top it with powder, which is what I'm gonna do to set it today, then you can be free to do that and it will last all day. Now their Amazonian clay blushes already last 12 hours on their this own. This is just a nice way to get that extra pairing. So I'm just going to use my finger and go right in. Now isn't this adorable packaging? All of their blushes have really awesome cute packaging. They do have like a gift set where you can get all eight of them, um, eight of the new colors and a gift set with this very special edition packaging. So I just kind of press it into my face using my finger. It's, it is a little bit of a wet formula but it's it dries and I love the look that it gives. It gives a really nice dewy look. This Exposed is one of my favorite blushes from Tarte. Make sure you're using your any stain products before you're applying powder to your face. That's why I wanted to, before my foundation really set and I would be moving it around a ton, I wanted to go ahead and apply this cream product and then we will finish up with the rest of the face. I really highly recommend these. They have several different colors. Like I said, they correspond with the names of their blushes. So this one is an Exposed. Exposed, and I think this is the most wearable everyday color of blush. It's it's one of those blushes that I recommend if you're going to be getting a Tarte blush that you check out Exposed, just because it's that rosy toned neutral color that is flattering on most skin tones. The same goes with the cheek stain. For my eyes, I'm going to be using this palette, which I'm obsessed with the packaging. It looks like it's like a wallet. This is the Amazon Escape palette. It comes with two blushes and Tarte's famous Amazonian clay blushes right here and it comes with the color Exposed which like I said is one of Tarte's most famous neutral color blushes. So it comes with this Exposed and then this blush right here is called Free. Uh, it's a beautiful like shimmery peach color and Exposed is just that very nice neutral rosy color. So two beautiful blushes, very nice and springy. This is great for neutral, this is great for pop color for spring. And then the eyeshadows. Now the eyeshadows are very nice and neutral. I love how it mixes this almost like bronzy gold color with some neutral colors. You can get a very nice neutral look, especially with one of my favorite blushes. So I'm just gonna go in first with one of Tarte's Emphasize Eye Bases. Now I got this off of Hot Look. You can check, sometimes Tarte carries some of their discontinued products on Hot Look. Sometimes they still have them on the sale part of their website. But this is just a really nice taupey bronze color. If you don't have this, you can use anything similar in your collection. Use Bad to the Bronze if you like from Maybelline Color Tattoo. Anything will work from your collection. I'm just going to use this and put it all over my base of my lid. These set pretty fast, so make sure that you work quickly to blend them. And then I'm going to run that right under the lash line. Now I'm going to go into this middle color right here. It's called Rope. This is a really nice neutral blending shade. I love it. It's matte and it's not too warm tone. It's not too cool tone. It's perfect. And I'm using a taper blending from Sigma. This is an E35. And we're just going to buff this in as a transition color through our crease. And I'm holding the brush a little bit further back just so that I can get a more diffused look. I really love that color because the matte is super creamy and um, really blendable. And like I said, it's just a really nice neutral shade. It It's not too warm tone and it's not too cool tone. It's just perfect right there in the middle. Next on my lids, I'm going to go with this color called Cameo. And it's a beautiful bronzy golden color. 
I'm going in with the Sigma E59 Wide Shader Brush. Any shader brush that you have, I believe this comes in their Extreme Color Payoff Kit. And I'm just going to pat that on to the center and then outer half of the lid. I love this color because it's that goldeny bronze color. Now go back with your original blending brush and just kind of blend the edges of that out so that we get a smooth transition. Don't use any additional product. Now I'm going to go in with the highlight. I'm using a Rouge Bunny Rouge highlight brush, but anything that you have. This is their Blender 06, and I'm just going to use it as my highlight. I'm going to go in this color Tame and Rare. This is a little bit of a shimmery white, and this is like a matte peach color. And I'm just going to mix the two of those together and apply them into the inner corner of my eye just to brighten that up a little bit. And just bring it a little bit into the inner portion of the eye. And then I'm going to put that up under the brow bone. Okay, now for the outer corner, I'm just going to dark it up with this color called Canopy right here. It's a deeper bronzy color. I'm using a dome utility brush from Sigma. And I'm just going to ever so slightly just put that right here in the outer corner of the eye. And I'm going to drag a little bit of that color right on the outer corner underneath my eye. Okay, still with no additional product, go ahead and blend all that together out on your lid. Now I'm just going to take that same cameo color and with a pencil brush. And I'm just going to push that into my upper lash line. Just because we're not going to go in with any liner, but I do want a little bit of definition on the upper lash line. I'm just going to barely push that in to deepen the upper lash line before we go in with any mascara. Now I'm going to apply Tarte's Famous Lights Camera Flashes Mascara. Now they have Lights Camera Lashes and Lights Camera Flashes. The bristles on this wand really get in there and they're very, very pointy and but like I said it is a big wand it separates the lashes and it makes a really dramatic look I'm just gonna go ahead and apply mascara to my top and bottom lashes and I will be right back. Now I'm gonna finish up with the rest of my face. One of my favorite bronzers from Tarte is their Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. I have it in a smaller size. It has a little bit of shimmer in it. I use it as a blush sometimes and a bronzer. It's a beautiful golden color. Even would make a great eyeshadow. I love this bronzer. I do have it in a matte finish if that is what you prefer, but I like the extra kick that this gives. So I'm gonna use this Real Techniques blush brush and I'm just going to gently bronze up my face. Um, I don't want anything too much because this is a daytime look, but just to add a little bit of color and definition um, to my face. So I'm just going to gently bronze it up. Just blend so effortlessly and I just, I love the color. I don't think it has too much orange in it. It just seems to have that perfect amount of color to the face. So now since we put the cheek stain on and we let that set, I'm going to top it with the powder blush. Now like I said, this palette comes with one of my favorites and it is Exposed. So Exposed is that perfect neutral rosy blush and I'm just going to put a little bit of this to tap it up to top it off. I'm going to put it on an F Sigma F10 and I'm just going to gently apply that right to my cheeks and just blend it. Since we already have that base down, it's really going to show up nicely um, and just kind of lock it in. We have one highlighter from Tarte and it is this one right here. It's their Amazonian Clay Shimmering Powder and this is in the color Rose. Get a little bit of this. This is really pigmented so I use it very sparingly and I'm just going to top it on the very tops of my cheekbones. This is, is a day look. You just don't want to get too crazy with your highlighter. A little bit down the ridge of my nose but it just blends out really nice, really gorgeous rose gold highlighter. Now for the lips. Since Tarte came out with the eight cheek stains, they also came out new with new Lip Surgeon's Power Pigments. Now these are pure pigment and they are also in corresponding shades to their 
um, cheek stains. If you guys are interested in seeing full swatches of all of the cheek stains, all eight of them, and all eight of the power pigments, I will leave the blog post that I did and all those swatches below so that you can see the different colors. Now, the corresponding color has, the co as you can see, they have very similar packaging. And on the box is really cute with the packaging. So this is in the color Exposed, and it's a little, it's a very nice neutral everyday wearable color just like the blush is so I'm going to actually layer two of them I'm gonna one of my favorites which is blushing bride and this is a really beautiful more pink a little bit darker pink color so I'm going to layer these Now these are pure pigment. There's no, um, I wouldn't say they're very glossy or shiny or sheer. They're the power pigment, so they're packed full of pigment. Uh, you could shear them out if you like by you know using your finger like this. So I just put the blushing bride color on the outside, and then I'm going to go fill in the inside with a more neutral color of exposed. Just going to put that one on the inside. Now, since these do not have any type of shine to them, I, can, I tend to like a little bit of shine. So I'm going to add on top one of Tarte's glosses. Now this also has a little bit of mint to it. This came in a holiday kit and it was a gift to me, so I don't know the particular color. But it's just a really light pinky peach color with a little bit of shimmer in it. So I'm just going to add that right on top. So that is the finished daytime look. Tawny and I are really excited to give one of our subscribers the Amazon Escape palette that we used in the tutorial. So one of you will have the opportunity to win this palette. Like I said, it's an awesome palette with all the neutral colors, the beautiful purple, and then the, the two very, very wearable blushes. All the information to enter this giveaway will be listed below if you're interested in entering. It is going to run two weeks, and make sure you check the rules below. If you guys are interested in seeing more of these one brand tutorials, go ahead and leave some ideas of them below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to enter the giveaway if you're interested and please subscribe if you're not already. I will see you guys all in my next video. Mwah.